Good evening, Ryan McCormick here with MSBN, and what a game this regional championship turned out to be. I'm here with Matt Kadosh, the big hero today, 84th minute goal off the throw in. Uh, take us through that goal. How was it, and uh, how did it find your foot? Uh, it was pretty cool. I mean, uh, I don't know. It just came in. My uh, my friend Roar on the team, he uh, he chested it down. Just happened to come on my feet, and I put it in. Yeah, that was a great goal. Also, um, you know, playing for this regional championship at home, having so many games here at Beamster for you guys look great every week. You know, that PSAC championship, getting that monkey off your back, and then uh, tonight and then next Saturday, be home again. Yep for the quarterfinals. Uh, what does it mean playing in front of your home fans, behind your bench, and supporting you the whole time? It's great. It's great. I really like it. It's exciting. Everybody comes out. you got the whole crowd behind you. It's awesome. It's a great, great atmosphere to play in. Talk about uh, your senior guys, Claffy, Dalbert, Bafuda, Roland. You know, uh, obviously their second straight regional uh, title in the last four years. So, um, you know, that leadership's got to mean a lot to you. And you being a junior, obviously, stepping in off the bench, doing whatever you have to do, Scoring your fifth goal today. Uh, talk about those older guys. They really, they really help out with the motivation. They're always behind you every, every right before the game, during halftime. They're always the ones to say something. It's just great. It's really huge. They have a lot of experience. It's great. It's awesome, man. All right, here with Matt Kadosh, game-winning goal, regional championship for the Millersville Marauders. For MillersvilleAthletics.com, I'm Matt Dudas, joined right now by head coach of the Millersville men's soccer team, Steve Wodosin, coach. You win your second Atlantic Regional Championship in four seasons. You do it in your home field for the second time as well. Describe the range of emotions that you went through over the course of that game until finally somebody found the back of that, in this case, Matt Kadosh. Yeah, it was, a, uh, it was a very tense game. I mean, it was back and forth. Both teams had quite a few chances. Uh, you know, a typical final. And, and we said at halftime that, you know, this game's got one nothing written all over it. And it was just a case of defending well, keep plugging away, keep plugging away, and take our, our chance when it came along. And, and luckily, Matt Kadosh popped up and did that for us. You guys are able to beat Cal for the second time in one week and the third time in one season. You always hear the people say that the old adage, how hard it is to beat a team three times in one season. Talk about how hard it was to do that here tonight. It, it was extremely hard. And especially after what happened in the semi final that you know four nothing uh, result which I, I think was justified we played that well you knew Cal wasn't going to let that happen again so uh, you know they are a strong team they're a very good team they pushed us all the way today it was an incredibly hard game and it was a great game for a championship so you know a lot of credit goes to California and they showed how hard it is to beat a team three times your defense has really been the hero so far in the playoffs you win four game four matches now by a score of one to nothing again Brad Benzing exceptional and, and your guys in front of them did a great job talk about their play here down the stretch and how it's carried you into the quarterfinal round. I mean, defense is basically something that we started talking about basically since the day we ended last season. Uh, and from the first day of preseason, we did a ton of work on defending and, and just putting that mentality and that attitude. And we said, if we've got to go a long way in the postseason, we have to defend well. And, and everybody defends, whether it be the center forward or the goalkeeper, everyone's bought into defending as a team. And, uh, you know, we, we're pretty confident we can score goals on people most of the time. So we know if we're keeping shutouts, we're going to give ourselves a great chance of being successful. And we've proven that in, in the postseason. It's been fantastic to see one nothing result results in soccer are not boring, I can tell you that much. Your senior class, not only did they win a PSAC championship last week, they win their second Atlantic Regional Championship during their career. Talk about the note that that sends them out on. Obviously, they still have a lot of goals ahead of them, but you know that that's something that is very rare, and what they're able to do is something that's a great accomplishment, to say the least. Well, you know, I think it's no exaggeration to say that it's the greatest class that's ever been through Millersville and with absolutely zero disrespect to anybody that's played in this program before. But, you know, there's been some fantastically tremendous players here. But as a group, what they've accomplished, you know, through their four years here at Millersville uh, will be tough to be beaten, but we're going to try and get it anyway. But, uh, you know, I can be proud of our, our senior class. They have led this team from day one uh, and, and they have been absolutely phenomenal for us. And we're going to miss them, but uh, hopefully we've still got a few more games left in us yet. Coach, thanks for your time. Millersville is on to the quarterfinal round for Millersville. Head coach Steve Wittison, I'm Matt Dudas for MillersvilleAthletics.com.